Welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. So this is Rantry. I'm here with Wilbur, and we probably need to... Oh, crap. We need to make up some meatballs, and we need to cook up some of the stuff that's starting to go bad. Uh, I could cook this monster meat. Heck, I could cook this meat as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and cook it. Just so that it doesn't go rotten while we wait. Um, we can cook the monster meat too, I suppose. Eat that up. Grab our backpack back up. And... Let's see. Alright, I need to... Let's zoom back out. I always zoom in to start off and I always forget that I have done so. Alright. Chests are quickly becoming an issue. But... That is no problem. Um, let's see. What do I not need? Well, I suppose I do have Packham with me now. Uh, it is a full moon. I could go get some more meat from the old, uh, from the old monkey, or from the old, I'm sorry, I can't, can't think, can't talk. I could go get some meat from the wild boar. Uh, but I think I would like to start building up my jerky supply a little bit more, so we'll go and go ahead and start a monkey war. That's why I wasn't using the bananas for for my meatballs. But yeah, it's day 42. We need to start uh, preparing for monsoon season. And I wonder how much snakeskin is sitting up there. So that will entail not a whole lot, just uh, cutting cutting quite a bit of bamboo, really. And we'll eat those back up. And I oh, might as well might as well go ahead and see what kind of monkey war we can instigate here before these go bad. Now don't just kill my three monkeys immediately. Keep biting, keep keep biting and fighting. No. Let's see here. Pack them. What what can you have? You can have my tools for right now. I'm not gonna need those two things at the very least. See if we get enough bananas here to instigate another war. And didn't look like a whole lot of snake skin in there. Alright, let's do four maybe this time. Oh wait, are the three that I had assisting me still assisting me, I wonder? Or was it just the three? Yeah, it was just the three. All right, monkeys, pack 'em baggins. Actually, I am gonna have you uh, have you stay down here. Come here, come here. There, you can hang out there. You're kind of getting in my way of clicking on all these little bunched up monkeys. I should have several. No, it's only the two. Or the three. There we go. Seems like once they get uh, split up a little bit, that's when they start kind of fighting a little bit more. Alright, well we got enough... Oh wow, that's a lot of rot. Um, put it here for our fuel. Uh, we got enough morsels to do two runs of jerky. And I suppose I should make some more drying racks at some point. But put those in there, put that in there. Uh, sure, why not? All right, uh, let's see, my sanity is still not wonderful, and I believe, yeah, I still have a couple ice over here. 
And maybe I should make another crock pot at some point as well. Anyways, let's pick up this axe too, because we're going to go harvest some possibly wood, but definitely I wanted to get that machete for. Four to make. All right, now pack them. You can come along for the ride. And put our snake skin wherever it goes. This is really bothering me. This looks so thrown together and dumb that I'm going to definitely definitely dig up some of that that uh, turf and replant it. But for now, I do want to be able to make sandbags and possibly some more snakeskin rugs. So that means cloth. So that means a bamboo. So we'll just be harvesting bamboo probably for, oh, the rest of the day. All right, so we cut bamboo most of the day. And let's see, chests. Yeah, I got a charcoal chest there. And let's see, I gave Packham a bunch of poop. We put that poop in there. And let's see, I don't particularly need vines on me either. Okay, let's go ahead and start making up some. Oh, duh. You need sand for sandbags. Let's go get some sand. Oh, I may have to go. I'll probably have to sail elsewhere to get uh, to get enough sand. But it is uh, it is day 44, so actually the rains could start any time. I did not give myself enough time to prepare for the flood. Uh, but we'll just see we'll just see what we can do. Uh, it shouldn't maybe start right away when it starts raining, but it might. Ooh, a red gem. And I guess I'll just dig up. I'll dig up all the sand I can on my little island here. Luckily, uh, there are there are quite a few. So I believe every two sand will give us six sandbags, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, yeah, dig sand and uh, make sandbags. And with that, we have exhausted all the sand on our little island here, and our la our shovel broke just as we dug the last bit. I also want to maybe see if I can get some snakeskin flooring down, but uh, yeah, we'll find up some cloth. Yeah, yeah, I can't carry it. Put your snakeskin in there. All right, refine up some more cloth. Right, and then sand baggins. Ah. Let's uh let's go ahead and stick the red gem and pack him. If he can handle it, he can, it would appear. And more sandbags. Alright. Uh we're short oh we're short two cloth. I th uh, let's see, I should have some more bamboo, maybe just a couple. Yeah, there's nine. Alright, give us a couple more cloth. And see if that'll give us two more, or just one more sandbag. Yep, okay, that's okay. 16, it's not that bad. Ah, uh, boy, I sure would like a little bit more of bamboo. Just to make a couple more cloth for a couple more snakeskin floors. Uh, but I think the only bamboo I haven't cut is right here over by these stinking snakes. And I don't think they're gonna let me have the bamboo too easily. Come on down here, boys. Come on up. Whoa, they're aggroed on Packham. Let's bring them all down here to the monkeys if they'll come. The monkeys should kind of naturally aggro on them. There we go. Now, that's going to be a monkey snake fight. Allowing me to harvest my lovely, lovely bamboo. Even though it's almost nighttime. Should be able to get a little bit here. Maybe enough for another cloth or two to do my flooring. Oh, lost my machete. Okay, I do have a torch for when night comes. Just wanted to double check that. I don't know how many times I've thought, oh yeah, I've got a torch, no big deal, whatever. And lo and behold, I either didn't have one, couldn't make one, or didn't have the inventory slots for it. 
So I always try to check that as night approaches. And it does. Put that on. Come down over yonder. Give us a little bit of light to work by. Kick that off. All right, let's see. What do we need? We need a couple more cloth. And what do we need for our uh, snakeskin floor? Four snakeskin and just one cloth apiece. All right, let's go ahead and let's see if we can make up uh, just three more. And of course, I'm running out of room here. Let's put on our let's put on our football helmet. And we'll just take all the snake skin that we can. Structures, give me some snake skin flooring. There we go, and you, Mr. Bagums, should have our pitchfork. Let's grab onto that. And actually, we may not may not need our pitchfork right this second because I, I'm planning on planting it there let's see let's just see what we can do here well, actually you know what I don't even need this I don't really need this piece where it is so let's go ahead and dig this all right and ooh, we don't want our lightning rod to go the way of the buffalo now I expected it to already have started raining but did not Combine the stacks. Alright, there we go. Now, let's see if we can semi-sort of cover our, our base. A little bit better. There. Place it there. There. And there. Alright, that's kind of semi sort of starting to be a little bit better. Get that. Pick up our meadow turf. We can stick our pitchfork back and pack them. And turf can go in there. Alright. Now, what else do we need? How's our umbrella? Umbrella 77 and since lightning shouldn't be striking too much, I'm not going to worry about uh, having my snakeskin hat. I think I'm probably going to want to uh, the, the football helmet and the umbrella will will do me for uh, For rain protection basically is what I'm saying. Oh, somebody told me I might be able to make a new doi doi nest with my uh, with my feathers uh, Which would be very interesting. So let's go ahead and maybe make up a meat ball and we can gather our jerky and oh, better replant replant replace our jerky as we harvest it or after we harvest it as it were pack them you can hang out here and then I'm gonna want to try and start getting my inventory squared away just so that I can Uh, not have to wear my backpack during during monsoon season because the little stingers, little mosquitoes will sting me. Uh, yeah, but the, I, I do want to, after I get these on the drying rack, I want to check out and see about making another doi doi nest. I may not make it right this second because I need to kind of re rebuild up this pin and I don't have a whole bunch of rocks right now. But, let's see, would it be under structures? Let's see, doi doi nest. Dragoon den. Hmm. I do not see a doi doi nest being craftable. I wonder if it would maybe be under food? Because you could, like, breed them for food? I don't know. Bee box, bucket of poop, improved farm. No? Hmm. I may have to uh, I may have to look into that a little bit more. There's no way it's under science, right? No. Okay. 
All right, so there goes that idea. Um, I do have a bit of grass, and I do have the means by which to get a lot more meat, a lot more, uh, oh, that was the wrong tool. The means by which to get a lot more, uh, oh, my shovel broke. Duh. Uh, get a lot more morsels from the monkeys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this grass. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some more drying racks. Oh, and there comes the rain. No problem for us. Oh, yes it is, yes it is. We need to, we need to, uh, check our... We need to go look for puddles to start to form. That is what we need to do. So I'm gonna hang out right here around base and see when I see the first puddle start to form. And... Then go and, uh, I need to keep an eye on... See, what do I need? Uh, three rope and two charcoal per. I guess I can go grab my charcoal while I'm keeping an eye out for puddles. Oh wait, is that a puddle? That's a that's a puddle right there. I thought I thought the puddles couldn't freaking form on carpet. Is that not considered carpet? I guess. All right, man, they're really difficult to see. Okay, they've started to form though, nonetheless. So. Let's go see, see about uh, where, come on game, see about where our puddles might be forming. Yeah, there they go. Oh, they're already kind of tier two. All right, we don't want them to flood our monks. Uh, I think I can get one in, in the middle here. If I can get that viney bush out of the way. All right, there's one right there. And, of course, I'm just trying to deal with the ones closest to my base first. And am I not going to be able to build? Oh, wow, they're spreading already. Man, they spread fast. All right, got another one up here. Let's see if we can figure out where the middle may be. It looks like there. I think that's the middle. Looks like the middle to me. All right. And let's see, over by spiders. Let's see, we got two right here. There's one. There's two. Spiders are steer, steer, still tier two. I'm not too bad. This one, I may have to dig up that viney bush, uh, which I can do. And sandbag, go there. And I should probably head, start heading a little bit south. Oh, don't drop it. I meant to place it. I meant to place it. I meant to place it. Build wall. All right, got our torch. We may need to build a Notre torch. Let's see, is that how the area was? Yes, I believe it was like that. Or, yeah, it was like that. And it's going to go out really quick. I'm going to make a backup torch again quick. And I think that's probably okay for for north of our base. Uh, if I can even find my base now that I'm all turned around. Alright, here we go. Alright, well luckily nothing spawned in our inside our base. Let's go see down south here if we can get a handle on some of these overnight. Pretty sure that's the middle of that one. More puddles, please. Let's see, is this a puddle? I guess I, I can kind of tell by if my wetness really starts shooting up. Uh, there is a puddle over there somewhere. I'm not really too concerned about that one. Uh, because I think it might just be the... The tide. Tide coming in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo! Gotta remember to make more backup torches. In the middle of the night. On rainy, rainy times. There's daylight. Alright, we got nine more sandbags. Let's go ahead and 
Knock that guy down. Any more over here by the boar? Oh man, we got three over here. I don't want that to get completely flooded. Ah! Keep clicking the wrong... Wrong deal here. Does it not want to plant because of the... Twig? No, that's okay. That looks like the middle. It's like the middle right there. Oh, we got four connected right here. And this one is actually kind of semi sort of threatening my base. I'm pretty sure that's the middle of that one. Yeah, that looks... Or is that two right next to each other? Because it looks elongated. I don't know. I don't know what is going on with these puddles right now. But I'm pretty sure that that's the middle of that one. Actually, I may be wrong. It may be... Maybe right there. And it may be. Well, this one doesn't look like it has a middle, really. Huh. That's strange. I guess that means it's two. I guess that means it's two connected. So one would be there. Maybe. And one would be there, maybe? And can we tear down the center? Or the two that I put in the middle there with the hammer? Maybe. But I think that that's got us relatively covered, at least for our base area. Doesn't seem to be... Yeah, I think I think we should be okay on, on our puddles. I've sandbagged that one, yep. And that's okay. I this is this is a little confusing that area right there. This one that should be the middle of. That should be good. That should be good. And I guess we got one right over here and since I got one bag left, might as well see if I can staunch the flow there. Oh, we do get lightning in monsoon season. I thought or maybe it's just more common in hurricane season. I'm not sh super sure about that. But anyways, all right, so we got that going on. What do we want? What do we want? We want to uh, make a couple more drying racks. And let's see now if I take, I want to see how close I have to be to, okay. So if I stand right there, I'm still technically covered by the palm leaf hut. Um, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Vine, new bush, uh, we can use for fuel. Just drop it. Just drop it somewhere, bud. Vine itself. I think I put some in there. Whatever. They can stay in there. I'll organize that some other date. Uh, sandbags. Yeah, I was just trying to clear up. Not sandbags. Um, rope. Need rope and need to make some drying racks. So let's see. Let's go ahead and make six rope. We'll make two more drying racks with that. Or should I make nine? I've got a lot. Let's go ahead and make nine. We'll make three more. I'll just kind of make them in, in tiers, tiers of threes. Drying rack there. We'll turn our camera so we can kind of line them up somewhat nicely. And you should be able to plant. Actually, let's... Yeah, plant there. Dry, oh, get our, get our umbrella on before I go insane. Drying rack there. Drying rack there. And drying rack right chair. All right, that looks relatively uh, aligned to me. The whiskey, I almost said the whiskey. <laughs> The jerky is not going to uh, not going to get done uh, nearly as fast in the rainy season, but that's okay. And we'll uh, getting a little bit hungry. Stick a monster meat in there. We'll go ahead and use three bananas for that. And uh, let's see, we might. Uh, we might, we might start another monkey war next time. But yeah, we're relatively prepared for uh, the 
the rainy season here, the monsoon season, as it were. We got good old pack and baggins. I think I'm gonna organize my inventory a little bit off camera. Um, and let's see, I think I'm gonna make another boat torch. And that way I can go ahead and sail down. It's right around here. I remembered to make a note. I was looking up here last time. Bioluminescence down here. Uh, and that way I can re make some buoys and refill my boat lantern. So, until next time, I'm Rantry. Thanks for watching.